And before I continue anything, I've got to make sure, for some reason, the music title is not coming up. Restarting my iTunes, and hopefully I have a title this time. Because this time we don't actually need any, well, we don't need to have silence because we already have the beats down. We don't need to listen to the animation uh, so closely anymore. And will it work this time? Nope. Music one title will not come up. All right, well, let's just kill that and kill snippet. Kill those two things and then bring back up again my program. And hopefully, this will bring everything together. Do, 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 do. As it brings up the program. Yes? No. There it goes. Now it should do a thingy. Or do I not have it on? Let's go to main. Oh! I just don't have it on the uh, startup. <laughs> I know things. Welcome, everybody. Kind of a silly startup. May mainly my fault there, not the program's fault. Oh, so today, actually, I do want to pause the music really quickly because I want to show you guys how we have done so far. I have showed some of you already the render of everything. Hello, Blebo. How's it going? Uh, ah, it's working. Yep, now it's working. Hugs to everybody. Let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, little render that we have. We only have a couple seconds of the of the animation. Let's go ahead and go back to the beginning here. So so far we have this, and I have improved on this a little bit though. <laughs> so that's the actual speed of the animation that's that's what that's what we uh have so far and they are all supposed to be green because they are all looking at the viewer and that's the green sheep that the green sheep is looking at you and the red sheep is turning the other direction so that is what we have so far, and we can use that to our advantage um, because, let's go ahead and minimize that, uh, because we already have down the beats for the next section, because the next section, uh, let's go ahead and grab this, and this doesn't need to be up, and that one's okay. So for the next section, it does the same... It's a different it's a different pitch of it, but it is the hits on the same beats. So all we have to do is duplicate the the sheep and need to switch up their switch up their uh, actions, what they actually do, and also have interactions. So all we have to do is duplicate collection, and we have yet another uh, set of sheep here. Let's go ahead and select uh, select objects, and we are going to see this pop up really quickly. So, da 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 da. Where is it at? Right there. Right there is the first sheep. So all of these sheep, as you got, watch them all go right back into the earth. Flump. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's right. I need to select all, select all here, grab, here we go. Watch them all go right back inside, here we go. And then this guy 
needs to pop up there. So now we should have all of these popping up on the right beat. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Yep, right on the last beat there. Perfect. Works all good. Now we can bring back in the music again because we already have the beats that we need these sheep to go onto. So all that work that we did yesterday helps up for the next section of this. All I have to do is reorientate their uh, actions, change out their skins, and I should be able to have them interact with the new sheep. So let's go ahead and turn down the music volume a little bit though. So I don't want the music overpowering me. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Bundle of green sheep. Yep. And we do have something different today inside of the channel points. Um, so I was thinking before the stream that I should just have ZF, uh, the ZF skin on for my little avatar here. And Genfire... <laughs> <laughs> a change. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So that 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 would be it. So yeah. I Genfire said, you know, you should keep it as ZF, and I'm like, you know what? I was already thinking of that. Why don't I just keep it as ZF? But why not have a compromise and have a load a load of other other ZF skins that you could see from like uh, Worm Fox or. Uh, Christmas ZF or Golf ZF or normal ZF, but we apparently want made ZF. <laughs> so we have made ZF. <laughs> oh, guys! Bam! There you go. I now I I thought that I thought that the front. I, I realized that the front portion is a pocket for for the maid dress, but but then I real I I realized it after a little while. But I first I thought it was a, a smiley face, so I thought that that tummy area was like a smiley face. And like, why did why is there a smiley face on the ZF maid maid uniform? But no, that's just a pocket with little fl uh, tassels on it or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, so, there's that. So, onward with the animation. We have the next set of sheep, and we have to have them interact with the other ones. But before we get too far into that, we should, uh, point out a few things. <laughs> I, Jen, I, I may not stay like this for, for all stream. Um... Um, I did put a cool down on the, on the changing of the outfit. So every five minutes, uh, only every five minutes can the outfit be changed. So it could be changed to another thing for about five minutes and then come back again after five minutes again. I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll bring it back though. I'm pretty sure you will. <laughs> um, now... Um, there is a few things that I improved in the background while after the stream. I decided to make the clouds move. Um, I did give uh, ZF here a, um, a... Let me zoom on in here. I did give Z... Ooh, I don't want to move the camera. I did give ZF a, uh, an expression while I don't have him animated yet. <laughs> So he he's going to stay in this little ooh expression while we uh while we work on the rest of the uh while we work on the rest of it for right now. And um yeah, before before I actually give him the um the actual product, the actual product, there is there is a a, a silly little something that's going to be hidden here and I'm going to see if anybody sees it. Anybody that wasn't in the in inside the uh, Discord chat, <laughs> if anybody can see it at all, <laughs> something very silly. We did add in a um, 
<laughs> Thank you, LePingui. We'll see if Aloe Croissant can see it. Um... Or, or anybody else. Um, I did add in a bit of a fog effect because inside uh, Blender, some of these colors can get a bit close from the background. So if I didn't have this little fog effect here, uh, the green on this grass would blend right in with the green on the foreground. So adding in this little bit of atmospheric filtering between here and there helps out a lot, especially when you have this start out phase of no sheep. So that way um, things don't seem off. So we have that at least. Yeah, don't worry. You'll, you'll eventually see it. You'll, you'll just eventually see it. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and change up the color on the second sheep. That's going to be our first step because we won't be able to distinguish uh, between the green sheep and the red sheep unless we change up their color. So let's go ahead and uh, sheep wool. Let's go ahead and make a new emission. Just duplicate that. Head in the shading. And let's see here. Winner, bouncy bear has won five points. You know, eventually I gotta make some points, what those points can buy for the avatars. Um, let's see here. We want this to be a red color. So, roop, red. Perfect. And make sure that's nice and red. This way, that way. Eh, right there. Okay. And let's go ahead and change these guys over to the new sheep skin. Um, actually, I wonder, I wonder, and I haven't done this too, too often. Let's see if I can grab all of the, all of the wool here. And grab this one. And now I should be able to copy materials to selected. Bam, everybody's red, sweet. That was nice and easy. Now for the harder part, which is actually animating them. So now that we can distinguish between the two sheep, let's bring in the other group here. And... Yep, right there. That's, that's going to be our first sheep. But do we want that sheep to to do what we want it to um and my gosh things have gotten a mess down here look at all those bones look at all of them i think it was the penguin that one yeah it was the penguin one that one <laughs> congrats Little duel. Uh, how do we want to do this? I think the best action we're gonna have, we're gonna take is if we open up both of these, and we actually get all of these guys to minimize, except for the first sheep that pops in. So the first sheep that pops in, we're gonna need. Let's go ahead and grab his bones here. So where do we want to put our first sheep? Where do we want him to be interacting with? Okay, so... All those animations. This is main. Oh, I moved the main bone there. I moved the main bone instead of the, uh, instead of the body bone. That's different. Well, we'll just work with the main bone then. Main bone... Uh, I think probably the best place to put him is going to be over here. Let's go ahead and shove him. Uh, yeah, I think right underneath here would be okay. Let's have him pop up here. And then, so he'll pop up here. And then this guy will duplicate over this guy. 
And this bone will do a follow through. Okay, good. Bum, ba, dum. And then he's going to slant this direction, more or less, instead. And we're going to take this keyframe, duplicate him over. Yes. Actually, and we can just get rid of uh, the rest of these animations because they don't mean anything whatsoever to us. So take all these animations. They mean nothing to me. So I just want him to get over here and uh, get him over here. Like good, le good. And you're going to want to be there. Delete keyframe. So duplicate keyframe. Duplicate keyframe. Awesome. And then rebound. Yeah, that's dude. Maybe a little bit too much movement because there is going to be sheep on top of him. Hello, individualist. How you doing? Merp. Too much movement, too much movement. We are underneath sheep, so the only thing that's going to be wobbling should be the head. All right, so now that we have that guy in, we need to interact with the other guys. And these guys are going to... Mm, actually, we're going to have to change this main bone up. We need you to come over here. There we go. There we go. Much better. We want you to react to this guy coming up, which should be uh, do 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 right about here, and then right about here. Come on up. Awesome. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Class has ended. 15 minutes uh, with you guys. That's in between classes, I guess, Glebo? <coughs> I did it again. <coughs> My mute won't mic. <clears throat> Excuse me, my mic won't muke. Mute. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I forgot that I... Yeah, still not a fish, right? Oh. <clears throat> and my mic has an awesome mute mu mutton. Uh, it, uh, it, like... Uh, now you'll, now you'll mute, but you won't mute before. Peekaboo. <coughs> Oof. Oof. Okay, so this guy is gonna get pushed up from the other sheep, and then his legs need to start moving as well. So we're gonna grab these legs down here, and we're going to, these are gonna be the starting location of the legs. What? There we go. And then the legs come up, And then one of the legs I'm thinking is going to be... And I was trying to think, what am I going to do with the legs? Because the legs are now visible to uh, the audience. So what I should do is I should get these legs to drape almost across the face. Or possibly just have one, have one of them stick straight out so that you can actually see that it's a red sheep under there. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more comical if I have the uh, the feet kind of straight and, uh, sometimes. So let's go ahead and do that. Nyrk. 
<laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. I'm just having the feet straight and like, ah. where'd you come from? <laughs> uh, uh, my mute won't well, mic. Yep. <clears throat> oh, I still have a bit of caffeine in my throat. Oof. Thank you for the for the follow. Oh, uh, <coughs> Mizu, Mizuko, Utah, Utami, Utamiziko. I'm believing. Ah, oh. oh, thank you. I, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. No, you shouldn't be sorry for that. <laughs> and now you've also immortalized the um, the uh, the ZF made Puka crossover. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, that's one. That's one sheep. Merp. And then this guy's got to react to a little bit to it. So we are going to start out here. And then we are going to just rotate on over this direction. There we go. Oh, for goodness sake, Sakila, lay down. You're a good boy. Stop digging into the floor. Come here. Come here. There you go. You're all covered up. Lay down, puppy. There you go. Good boy. All covered up now. Oh. Hey, Leah's here. Le? Le? Le penguin? Did you miss Le penguin? Can't give puppies a treat. <laughs> you're gonna get. You're gonna get him. You're gonna get him to come out of his. A oh, little blanket that I just finally got him under. There you go, puppy. I know. There you go, puppy. Both Remy and Akila are uh, both inside of my room. We got the show dog and the um, uh, therapy dog. I know you good boys. Nom nom nom. Okay, so we got sheep. We got sheep kind of reacting to this. Let's go ahead and do a do a wobble back and forth again. There we go. Oh, Lee. Lee is here. That's what you meant by Lee. Okay. Hi, Lee. How are you doing? Good to see you, sir. Forward, backwards, get some wobble on that. And then... Chen. I got it fixed. I got it fixed. So now... God. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, hug Jen at Genfire. Hug at Genfire. I. What 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 else do I do for you, Jen? I I give you hugs. There's that. Uh, thank you so much, Jen. You're uh you're very generous. And Owl, thank you very much for gifting to the gift sub. Thank you very much. I appreciate that so much. I enjoy I enjoy your streams and I enjoy your art, Owl. I hope to see a lot more from you. Your your drawings are fantastic. I really do. All right. So, we have that going. I think we need to get this guy's head moving a little bit too. Let's go ahead and let's actually let's actually copy this animation. Let's let's cheese. Sometimes you can cheese it. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it here too. And then duplicate this guy. <laughs> oh no. 
I just thought of something. If I if I bring this this thing over here, then this sheep actually looks down before before and before it comes up. So it's just like, uh oh, there's someone coming in. I'm just like, what? Poor. <laughs> So, so now the sheep looks down and goes, we're, okay. I do eventually need to get these, um, uh, these, all these sheeps to, uh, look left and right at each other, uh, in between the scenes. Because there is a bit of a gap here, where it just goes, where it's just still. And I need them to, to do something at that point. So, in between here, I've got to give them a little bit of animation, looking at each other. Just uh, giving each other a little bit of cross eyes or something like that. <laughs> hey, Sleepy. You're actually awake. Yeah, of course I like your drawings. Goodness. Who wouldn't like good art? Right? You're right, uh, you're right, you're right there with, with Sleepy. Both of you are fantastic with your art absolutely fantastic uh, let's see here we want we want the next sheep which is hidden that's why it's not coming up Duh. Okay, and this sheep is moving into the spot that that one already is in. So let's go ahead and get this guy's body. I want your body. Terry's a few talented people up in here and we love it all. Oh yeah. There's a lot of talented people. You need to not be in the same spot as the other one. All right, where are you going? Where are you going, Mr. Sheep? You are gonna go underneath the other one in order to help um, show off this red one here. That's where you need to go. Uh, whoops, not yet though. Let's jump to the keyframe, jump to the keyframe, and you need to be here, right? Yeah, that's how it works, okay. So you need to be here. No. And we are going to get rid of these keyframes here because these keyframes do nothing for us. That outfit is it's not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit, outfit change. change! Oh my god, it needs to look a little bit prettier. Oh my gosh, what do you want? Oh, set up, swim! Oh my gosh, we're gonna go into the water. The water is so sparkly. Oh my god. It reflects off of the ocean, the sun does. Oh my god, and during the during the nighttime, the moon reflects off. Oh my god, it's so romantic. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go ahead and change that up to the ZF. ZF swim. Do, 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 do. Does that have swim? There we go. <laughs> oh. Sleepy flower does that have swim. Okay, there you go. Is it? Mm, sleepy. <laughs> oh. In my in my onesie. Is it is it called a onesie at this point, or is that just a, or or is that a, a sleepy with, or is the sleepy version of that called the uh, the footsies? I can't remember. There's footsies and onesies. I can't I can't remember which which one's which. All right, so this guy comes up and he needs a little bit of a cool down here and a little bit of rotation upward. Okay, good. And then that one is going to interact with all of these, every single one of these guys. So all, all you guys all got to move for this guy to be coming out. So let's go ahead and select all of them. Okay, and we're going to move all of these bone bases. So this one, this one, and this one right here. All those bone bases are going to be moving up and away. So a 
actually, I think they are going to be moving pretty much as a group like this. And then this one's going to be moving a little bit different. And then this one's going to be moving a, a lot more and rotating a bit. Okay, good. And now I need to fix them because I just broke their animations. <laughs> so let's go ahead and fix all of their animations that I just broke because all of them I just broke. Because from, from here, they're just gonna be starting to drift upwards <laughs> before the thing even gets into the stream, floating sheep. That was a, um, that was a, uh, oh my gosh, it was a, it was a prank. It was an April Fool's for Minecraft 2, wasn't it? And I think, um, um, they showed off some of the features, and one of the features was you give a sheep or something like that a golden apple, and they start floating away or something like that. Oh gosh, the body pillow. <laughs> Look up, Chet. I want a body pillow. Oh, oh no, oh no. I I don't have I don't have that um I don't have that uh, clip that clip on me, do I? Um, on the uh, on the stream. It's just like uh, next. Nope. <laughs> I do not I do not have that clip of no God no. No, please, no. God, no, please. <laughs> uh, uh, well, fortunately for you, Sleepy, I can't stop you from actually making it. I really can't. But I can guarantee you that no such merchandise will be purchable, purchasable uh, from me at any point. <laughs> All right. All right, so from here, I need to grab the bodies and then, okay, and they need to stop way sooner. Okay, so these guys need to move like so. And then they need to have a little bit of a, a slowdown period as well. And then bring in those heads again and we're going to duplicate the animation that they had before with their head bobbling. So let's go ahead and grab, actually, well, let's, just, to, just to make sure I don't break it first, let's go ahead and grab these. Ooh, what's happening? This guy, I want this guy, this guy, and this guy. Duplicate, hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, apparently it's not similar. These lines down here, uh, from one from one keyframe to the other, mean that there is no variation in between the the animations. Meaning that it's completely still. But for some reason, there's no line in between this one and that one. No idea why. Oh well. But what we can do is. Uh, we are going to grab all of these head animations here. Let's go ahead and grab box select these head animations. Box select, I want these head animations. And we're just going to duplicate these, draw them right over here. And I think they would go right here. And let's plop them right here. Grab these ones, box select. Grab over box select grab and bring over okay so this these ones yep there we go okay and then right here because there's some extra bobble apparently that i need to get rid of so let's go ahead and get rid of these bobbles these bobbles don't need to exist delete keyframe so now now when they come in they should have a little bit of wobble there we go perfect Copying animations. Yay! <laughs> uh, oh, I'm, I'm missing some chat. Why is why is chat not working? I couldn't scroll up. Uh, there is a ZF uh, made pillow already in production. 
Just not a, oh, just not a body pillow. Well, why isn't it a body pillow? You know what? No, I'm kind of, kind of, uh, I'm kind of irritated on why I want my ZF, uh, made body pillow. Now I know how sleepy feels. Although, I'm st still not gonna give her body pillow of, uh, me in the made, made outfit, no. But where's my ZF made body, body pillow? Double standards here, people. Come on. I want my ZF body pillow. Um, oh, cool. We can, uh, mod modify those ones. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, would it be blessed or cursed? It would be blursed. That's what it would be. There, there, There is a term for both blessed and cursed. It is called blursed. Uh, and th they have some pretty strange images on what is it reddit reddit blurst I don't recommend going seeing anything on reddit ever but yeah blurst uh, I am <laughs> I am drawing it right now <laughs> I need to see this I need to see this this as uh, is, is I I mean, sleepy and sleepies made bug people look nice. Like, uh, bug people creep me out, but she's made them look pretty good. And Owl, you're on you're on the same level as Sleepy, so I've got to see if you can you can make this look good. I may I may try to m make something stupid after the stream. <laughs> well, I always look for I'm forward to your drawings, Globo. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I like the. I, I really do like how you did the eyes on the one where where I'm holding on to the heart and such forth. I and the eyes on that one. I I think I think you're actually getting better on those. I really do. Oh, this one right here. This guy's head. Uh, it's his head. Uh, should I should I change up his head? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, his head, his head is actually wobbling when it shouldn't. That's what's happening. Let's get rid of that. Uh, okay, now we need to bring in some more of these legs here because some of these legs are, some of these legs need to start popping up a little bit. All right, so this one's legs right here this one is going to have its legs sticking out in two. So from here, from here, this one is going to have its legs sticking out as well. Let's go ahead and grab this guy, bring you right on up. And there we go. And Actually, let's go ahead and see if we can bring this back a little bit and bend it in front of the face. Can we do that? Uh, we want to... We want to do this is what we want to do, I think. Or do we want to have it sticking straight out? I don't know. Um, let's get rid of these bones, see what's happening here. Eh, yeah. Clipping, clipping to me is kind of a suggestion, especially when it comes to, uh, sheep. With sheep, you can definitely do a bunch of clipping, uh, or rather, uh, going through other objects and such forth. That's what clipping is. Um, and, or, so... Or not really clipping. Clipping is is running into an object. No clipping is going through an object. So if there's a clipping problem, I think with the sheep, I th believe I can say that, oh, it's a little bit fluffy, so things can kind of mush around just a little bit and play around with all of that. So it should be okay-ish. All right, so... There is a problem here, though. We're going to have to change this up. So we're going to have to bring the leg out over here, midway through. There. That looks a little bit better. Rather than going straight through the face, 
Um, and then we're going to have to bounce this up a little bit too. Because both his, his head and the other head bounce up. We're going to have to bring it down again too as this one starts to come back to neutral. There we go. And then let's bring that up a little bit again. And then bring it down. There we go. All right. Perfect. Look at that. I love that. I love how that mm, that animates. Perfect. I love how that animates. That's that's brilliant. I like that. Okay. Mm. Uh, didn't she want the red sheep to turn the other way? Oh. Oh. Lessons in fixing your animation. Let's go backwards here a bit. Bring back on the bones. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, fix that then, shall we? Um, we are going to want to change up a couple of these guys. So we just need to change up the two red sheep that we've already animated the two green the green sheep and such forth seem to be okay so let's go ahead and change these guys and these guys we're going to get really technical with super technical but there is an easy ish fix for these things so we're going to need to change both of its location and rotation on what it's doing so thankfully we only have like three keyframes that we're going to be working with so let's go ahead and work on sheep number one here sheep number one uh we're going to go into the animation panel and we are going to bring up the graph editor all right shrink this on down all right and zoom in on this sheep here all right so we have sheep here, and what we need to do is we need to change its. We need to change its. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Here we go. Go to the timeline. All right, we need to change both of its rotation and its location. So let's see here. It's. We need to take, uh, let's see here. What is the best thing to to manipulate here? Grab Y, no, that's not the right one. We don't want Y rotation. Grab Y, we don't, oh yeah, yeah, we do want Z rotation. So we're gonna take these keyframes here. We're gonna take these keyframes, these three keyframes, and we're gonna come rotate him completely around, so. Go ahead and grab Y, turn these guys around completely. Uh, other direction? Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Now the butt is facing more towards the camera. Now we also need to change its location. And that one, I think we need to change. Let's see here. Let's see about the y location of the character yes there we go perfect so that those are the ones that we need to change we need to change the y location of these bones and we just need to bring him back until he's his butt is where his face was so you bring him on back there we go butt is where face was and let's go ahead and just Fix that on up. Let's go to tools. Right, right here. And let's go ahead and put the on this keyframe here. And move this on back even further. And move it up a little bit further too. So butt there. Perfect. 
All right, now we need to duplicate this keyframe and bring it on over here and just move this guy up a little bit. Nope, wait, nope, not, not how I wanna do that. Now I wanna bring it up a little bit. There we go, okay. So now, but that's moving a little too slowly. Hello. Or is that moving? Okay, this guy isn't, this guy isn't even on the right beat. There we go. Much better, much, much, but better. Okay. Uh, I didn't know. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, Sleepy. <laughs> I'm way too shy to do that. Uh, you know that with him in the maid outfit, but uh, me hugging it. Oh. <laughs> oh, plus I got to make sure that the music is running because I completely forgot about that. Get some Chrono Trigger in here. I like me some Chrono Trigger. <laughs> I'm back to the maid outfit. That looks outfit change. Oh my god. We need to go back to the maid outfit. This house isn't looking too good. You need to clean some stuff up. Oh my gosh, you messed up the animation. The maid outfit will be perfect fit for it. Because you just gotta clean up your animation. Clean up your act. Maid outfit. Dun da da da. <laughs> All right, made outfit changed. All right, now let's get back to the other one. Now, also another way that um, to uh, fix up this animation is is you could redo all of the keyframes, which is another way that you could do it. But so, but since it's just three keyframes, we're gonna go ahead and do exactly that. We are just going to rotate and move right back in all right and this should be at an angle where you don't see that clipping into the grass good um and then a little bit more let's go ahead and duplicate this keyframe and bring this up a bit there we go and now and over. There we go. All right, animation fixed. Yay! <laughs> uh, oh my gosh! I cannot. Uh, when I was doing the pretty horses to begin with, like in the first animation, I I used a pitch changer for for my voice and as i went on with the thing it was just like oh i don't need to pitch this up as much oh i don't need to pitch this up as much oh i don't need to pitch this at all i'm doing the right voice <laughs> uh, so now now i can just straight up do the pretty horse voice all right next cheap so now we got this guy coming in and these guys coming in <laughs> okay what's happening what's happening here okay this third shift the shirt third shift this third sheep is trying to get in in a really weird position give me the bones here we go okay there we go let's go ahead and go back to this one and this guy is going to be pushing up the rest of these sheep over here. Actually, you know what? We're going to be pushing up these sheep. Yeah, we're going to be pushing up these sheep right here. And let's go ahead and get rid of all these other keyframes here because these don't matter. Delete keyframe. And let's duplicate this keyframe into this and give you a little bit of follow through. 
Good. Perfect. Good. Clean it up. <laughs> oh. Also, another thing that I needed to remember. I'm glad you put down the word remember. Oh, wait. They are on. Oh, that's right. Because I didn't close the window since yesterday. That's right. This has been... This, this window has been... Oh, um... Uh, this window has been open since uh, yesterday, so let's go ahead and turn this guy around. But first, but first, but there's more. Right there. Duplicate the keyframe. Oops. Grab. And then follow through. And then we need you from another turnaround and move you up closer. Okay, good. Now work. <laughs> uh. All right, now now I got a got a question this guy's coming in quite strong and with all of this weight underneath of it i'm wondering if i should get some of these sheep to be uh almost flying a little bit i'm wondering if i should or if that's going to be just too much time let's go ahead and grab all of new no. let's go ahead and grab all of these bones so we need all the body bones uh, the sheep and all of these guys are gonna move up almost like so and then let's see here how do we want to do this I think I think if I do it like this it'll be okay and then this guy will be pushed up to here and we're gonna actually rotate this guy downward a little bit and move you over as well. So this guy's leg is going to move. And this guy is going to have a couple legs hanging off. I think. I think that's how it's going to work. Uh, Alright. And now let's go ahead and get those other, other things on here. Mm, but first. Flying sheeps. Good night. Good night, Eramosa. Do you have a checklist? Because you put uh, that on your... Um, do you have a checklist? Because you put that on your list. Did I? I do have a checklist now. But I don't remember what... Uh, What other list I have? What like putting my um, sheep on the checklist? Do -do. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. This one's kind of slow. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Oh man, seventies punk hero Chrono Trigger. Oh man, I love this one. Let's go ahead and what else do we need to do? We need to grab. Oh, that's right. I need to grab. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There it is. Got it. Grab these ends because these are going to need to be duplicated over to here. This needs to be shorter, much shorter. And these need to be brought over here. And still shorter. Put remember to turn the thing on on your checklist. 
Put the thing on on your check. Oh, the uh, the screen capture th keys. Good point. Good point. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna actually do that now while I have that on my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and put that uh, program uh, screen screen capture keys. For Blender. That's a good point. That is a good point. Now I get you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jen. Go ahead and get rid of that. And then bring back Blender. There we go. Cool. All right. Get these sheep animated. Save. So now these sheep pop up. And let's go ahead and give them a bit of motion, or continued motion, actually. Uh, this one needs to be moving over here. Uh, let's move you over to the side a bit, and actually, for uh, backwards? Let's go backwards. There we go. And then this one needs to be brought backwards too. So let's go ahead and grab Y. Okay, good. Nope. It's, that's kind of weird. Grab Y, bring it forward again. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. Let's get those heads to bring back their original wobble. And then I think we're going to duplicate these guys here. Bring you over here. And let's duplicate that wobble, shall we? I think it's just going to be a select everything. Duplicate, bring on over. And then this one down here. And grab, bring you on over. So, kind of. Kind of, not quite. Not quite. There we go. This one, however, I think... This one is going side to side, and you shouldn't need to. And you have some extra wobble here that you don't need. So delete keyframes. So let's go ahead and do that with it. And then downward. And then get rid of this keyframe. Delete. We want this one to be up, down, up. Okay, there we go. And then this one has some extra wobble in it too that doesn't need to be there. Get rid of those. There we go. Good, 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 good. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Okay. Okay, a um, little bit slower than I wanted, but we're, we are getting through it. Oh, I need the, the legs too. Uh, let's go ahead and grab right here. Let's go ahead and grab both of these actually. Let's go ahead and grab IK front. What? What? Wait. Hold on. What's going on here? IK front. Yeah. IK front. IK front. What is? Oh. There's another sheep in there. I don't want that other sheep. I want this sheep. Now. 
let's go ahead and grab those bones. So I want want them to stay like this. Uh oh. Uh oh. I made a mistake. Let's go ahead and fix that mistake too. If you saw it, let me know. <laughs> if you see it now, you'll know what the mistake is. These need to be sticking straight out. There we go. And then up. And then down. And let's get these a little bit closer as we do the down portion. And then back up. Oh, uh, no. Actually. That's fine. That's fine right there, I think. Let's go ahead and fix that one mistake that we had. Which is basically the body not uh, being turned to rent. What? Oh, there it is. Ah, I know what's happening. Alright, I know exactly what's happening. Alright. Let's go through here really quickly. Yeah. I think it's what it's trying to do is going from like a a one rotation and it's trying to go in the negative direction, which is the shortest line, but it's spinning itself all the way around. So it's doing before it's even coming up here, it's doing a helicopter effect. So the body is literally trying to take off. Just like ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba helicopter sheep underneath the ground here. But, but, as long as it doesn't show up once it comes out of the dirt, I think it's fine. Because then, by that time, the helicopter is uh, gone away. All right, now I want these two legs, these side legs. Let's go ahead and go over here. We're gonna swing these legs outward. And then bring them back again. And then bring them forward. And then bring it back yet again to here. So, perfect, good. That's exactly what we want. So now we have three sheep already. Oh, uh, three red sheep. Stream, here we go, wibble wobble. Uh, yeah, there was a head there. Uh, last red sheep, or did I just see something that wasn't there? I, <laughs> I did see the head. Yes, you did. Okay, so sheep work. Um, we need to bring in the next sheep. Ah, there it is. There's that next sheep. Hello. Get out of that mode, into this mode. Nope, I want you and the body. Oh, how do we want to do this guy? I think I think we're going to take this guy and we're going to compact him into here. Okay. So, that's where the the body's going to be. Okay, and let's get rid of all of these other keyframes because we don't need any of those. And 
and then I need to turn this guy around before I forget again. Now here's a question for you guys. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I should do something to the texture here. Um, so it, it's both kind of comical and both, uh, it's, it's kind of comical and also uh, needed a little bit. So what we have here right now is a bunch of sheep with a bunch of red things underneath of them. So right now, I got like, like four red things underneath of them. And to most people, they're not gonna know what, what this is. So I'm wondering if I should have a single pixel of pink right on the bum. I should make a crack. <laughs> um, or a fluffy tail. Yeah, I could do it and do a tail. Yeah, I could do the tail. That's a great idea, the penguin. I like that. The penguin, everybody, saving the day. Alrighty, I think I can do that in layout mode. So, I'd have to do it for for each of the, for each of them. I would have to do it for each of the, uh, each of the sheep. But, but, and there's that but again. Uh, Alt H. Let's see here. I might be able to, what I should do, actually... What I could do is I'm thinking, what if I do this? If I take this, uh, let's go ahead and duplicate this guy right here. Let's bring this guy out and we are going to do a subdivision on this. Let's do a mesh. Uh, edge, edge, subdivide. Okay, and let's t crank up this subdivision a bit. Uh, there we go. I think. Uh, one more, maybe. Okay, I think that'll work. Actually, no. Let's... Gosh, I cannot see that, that texture at all. Let's go ahead and change this again. Edge, uh, subdivide, and I want to try to... All right, two, uh, kind of. Kind of works along the same pixels, kind of. Let's do two more. Yeah. All right. I think that that grid out grid will work out. So what I'm thinking is I do a cutout of the tail actually. Do do do. So what I'm going to do is make a cutout of the tail and we will actually form the shape of it and we won't have to change the texture or the color that'll already be made for us. Um, let's go ahead and grab, let's see how we want this tail to look. I think a little teeny tail will work good. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do something like so. Uh, maybe. How do we want this tail to go? Do, 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 do. Actually, 
I should do it not on the grid. And let's go ahead and change it up like so. Yes. I think that'll work. Or uh, should it be shorter? Shorter. Yeah, shorter. I like that. Okay. Delete. Faces. And then what we do with this guy here is we do take this guy and we are going to extrude this on the y direction. Oh, that's that's not how that works. Okay, well, we'll do this direction then. Now, I need to take this guy and then L. Uh, let's go ahead and change the UV uh, wrapping on this. UV editing. Because right now, right now this sheep thingy has, if I were to go out of uh, edit mode, let's see here, and move my camera, uh, it actually holds its color. Uh, actually, you know what? No, it's fine. I think it's fine, yeah. Let's go ahead and um, instead go back to layout and then tab. Yeah, it's not doing too bad. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. Let's move this over into the center, bring it up a little bit. And then now it has a little tail, tail flap or something like so. And then this, we can just duplicate this and we can separate by selection. And then we can get out of edit mode and I'm gonna want to go into that sheep really quickly because there is a sheep an extra sheep mesh here this thing and this one needs to remove its uh, remove its parent clear parent okay good that's what I want whoa uh, yeah that's right it's a little bit big Object, set origin to geometry. Uh, turn off key capture. Big tail. Let's go ahead and bring in all of those sheep. Um, or what we can do is we can just uh, apply the sheep. Let's see here. Rotate Z 180. Okay, and let's go ahead and bring in all of those other sheep here. So this guy is going to be put into sheep actors, and this is going to be the, actually we're gonna be using, yeah. Yeah, we'll put you way below the scene actually. Let's go ahead and put you there. Awesome, now, any of the sheep that we need to attach this to. Yeah, now it has a little bit of an outline of a little tail flap there. Perfect. Perfect. All right, now what we can do is we can take that guy and we can to, we'll duplicate him and bring him up here, shrink him down Put him right on, right on the behind. And this way, actually all the, the tails will be a little bit uh, different for each one. Okay, good. And then all I have to do for this guy, parent to bone relative, and now that sheep will have a bone pop in and out. There we go, good. And now let's do the same thing with the others. Actually, let's go ahead and, hello. I want you to go to this sheep, I wanna say. Oh, for goodness sakes. Move, actors, sheep, and this one is sheep number nine. There we go, good. Now for the next sheep, 
Do, do, do. Duplicate this guy. Rip. Shrink on down. This guy's gonna have a little sheep tail. And do, do, do. Teeny little sheep tail. And he's going to be applied to this guy. Bone relative. And then drop you in number 12. Nope, you're not going to move into that one either. Sheep number 12. Good. Do the same thing with this guy. Duplicate. Shrink on down. Bigger tail. And you are going to be sheep number 11, I'm pretty sure. Let's try and pre-drop you. There you go. There we go. I need to drop it into the into the bone work before. All right. You're going to have a bigger tail. And put on bone relative. Bone relative. There we go. Perfect. Now if we take away all of that stuff and all the keys. Now, now you know you're looking at the behind of a sheep. Sweet. Funny story, I had to squint closely at the the pictures and I think I look rather mm, silly mm, looking at photos of my uncle's dog. None of them I mm, found are head portraits. But wait, none of Doing B-Day card for my uncle. Wait, you don't have any headshots of... Uh... Of yourself? You don't have any pictures of yourself? Or your uncle? Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and go to the bone work. All right, and we're going to attach those tails as we need them. So let's go ahead and give it another save quickly. Quick, quickly? Give it another save really quickly. Actually, um, I'm wondering if we should start working on the logo a bit. Because the logo is coming up. Um, I think we should start working on that guy a little bit. Because there is a few cool tricks, um, that I wanted to show off with that guy. And we are about 40 minutes from my usual cutoff time. I might go a little bit longer again. Uh, I'm trying to color his... Oh, oh, okay. Let's go ahead and grab down this. That guy's already saved. I think I have this up. So I've been playing around with this, trying to figure out, and I think I think this guy right here is what I want to do with um with the with the uh, with the title. I think this one is gonna look the best for for everything. So let's go ahead and grab I think I have a picture of it. Mm, do I need to look it up really quickly? Do 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 do. Bum ba dum ba da dun da dun da da. Uh, the book of chat. There it is. Okay. Uh, open original. And I'm going to want to save image. Save. Show in folder. Let's go ahead and grab this guy and put him right in here. I like the feature where now I can just grab a picture from a folder and just plop it right into, um, not that one. I can plop it right into uh, Blender. So now I have a reference to look at inside of Blender. 
which is nice. Let's go ahead and expand on this guy. Alrighty. <laughs> Your class is empty? Will the teacher not show up, or did you show up on the wrong day? <laughs> I've done that a few times. Oh, gosh. I asked uh, somebody, hey, what day is it? And I got like three different answers from, from people that were in the hallway just randomly for another class. And just like, nah. Uh. They are special and cursed and beautiful. <laughs> I meant glass. Oh, glass. Okay. Cup. Cup glass. <laughs> Your glass is empty. And there's nobody here. Alright, so... Uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple circles. So we're gonna need those. Uh, just a mesh, and we're just going to need a cylinder, pretty much. Uh, let's go ahead and fix up this cylinder. Actually, it doesn't matter what the vertices are because I think these are going to change a bit. But let's change it down to 16 vertices really quickly. And depth will change down a bit too. Yeah, that's good. All right, and rotate on the X about 90 degrees. Perfect. Bring you on up. Scale. Thank you for the follow, a bunny scout. Oh, hey. I was uh, wandering around inside of the nether and I found a bunch of your heads inside of a chest. <laughs> it's just like, what is a, what is a bunch, of, uh, bunch of his heads doing inside, um, inside of a chest? I was looking for anything but a crimson... Uh, forest, but I couldn't find nothing. I couldn't find nothing, honey. There is just like crimson forest for ages oh, on that server. And water, water e creator. Welcome, water creator. Thank you for the follow. Enjoy your little avatar for being a follower. This guy is going to duplicate, duplicate, and bring you on down over here, shrink on down, uh, no, let's shrink it in the other direction, hello, there we go, shrink it in this direction, good, okay, and uh, hide that really quickly, okay, alt hide. Bring this back up a little bit more and shrink it down on these axes. <laughs> yeah, the heads are from a, from different skins. Oh, okay. Thought I would be a be good to have a collection of them. Okay. I was wondering if somebody had killed you a bunch of times. Like, look! I've died. <laughs> Bullions. That's what I need. I need a Boolean modifier. Add modifier. Let's add in a Boolean. And we want union is what we need. want. Union of these two things. Is that going to work? Uh, that one. There we go. I think that's right. Am I right? And then this should be one mesh. No. Why are you not one mesh? Uh, cylinder one, union, difference. Intersect. Ooh, union. It should work. Oh, that's what I need to do. All right, right, that's right, apply. Okay, then grab the other cylinder and move over. Right, okay, now we're better. 
now we have one single object and I wanted to do it like that because I didn't want some weirdo extra planes in there so awesome zoom on in uh, let's actually oh that does still make some weirdo extra planes doesn't it you know what let's go ahead and not do that boolean let's actually just change things up for the logo then shall we let's actually make this guy offset from the other one and then then let's make this one object object join there we go is that chief looking at me uh it could be possibly Unfortunately, I wish I had ZF's little game inside of his chat where he where he could uh, spend some points and just um, and uh, have a have a go at his little game. Is that sheep looking at me? No, no, the sheep is not looking at you. <laughs> Let's see here. We want. What else do we want here? I think um, I think we should put in the text now. So let's go ahead and start putting in some of this text. Um, I think let's go ahead and add text. Rotate on the x-axis by 90. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's bring you forward a little bit too. All right, good. And this one is just going to say the letters is. Let's change this to a better font. We have a perfect font for this, actually. Thank you for the follow. Clemato, I believe it's pronounced. Clemato, and I am Preden. Thank you for the follow and cats. When cats wind and cat, cats wind and cat. Thank you for the follow, guys. I appreciate that. And since you're a follower, now you get a little uh, dude down there at the bottom, just roaming about. And you can customize them if you wish. Let's see here, I want a specific font. I want luckiest guy. I think this is funny since he's running a game show uh this this text here is called the luckiest guy so it's appropriate too as well as it almost fits perfectly as the text because this isn't an actual font this is somebody drawing out the letters so i've got to match fake font to a real font and then i've got to add uh, edit that real font in, back into a fake font and I want to make it look a little bit more crafty Minecrafty as such. So let's go ahead and duplicate Actually, let's get some more uh, Let's extrude this little extrude this a little and we are going to uh, Add some more stuff on here. Do we want depth? on this eh, maybe a little bit depth and let's go ahead and change up the the spacing of this guy let's change this to a 1.1 spacing good um, i think yeah that should do okay uh, one point one point zero five let's do a 1.05 spacing um, and we want to add some modifiers before we, I was about to say rasterize, uh, the thing. Let's go ahead and give it a deformation. We want to remesh this. That's right. We want to remesh this. We want to change it into blocks and we're going to change this to a nine, I believe. Yes. Oh no. Gosh, no. Gosh, no. Not nine. Ooh. Uh, back to four. Four, let's go to five. Yeah, that's better. Let's go with a five. And threshold. Uh, no, don't remove disconnected. And threshold. I don't know what this threshold means. Okay, that does nothing for me. Scale. K. 
Okay, there we go. And I think that's what I want. I want it to have a little bit of depth on there. Uh, let's bring it back a bit. Let's bring it back to a 9. Point 0.9, actually. Yeah, that's good. Uh, do I? Do, 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 do. Little bit. Still not good enough. Scale. What is this doing, by the way? Oh, that's what it's doing. Okay, interesting. There we go. Okay. I think that's what I want. There we go. And then... Uh, I want to duplicate this guy, so this guy's gonna get duplicated. And he's going to be put over to here. And now what I can do is change that to that. Um, and this modifier isn't, is this modifier not the same? What is happening with this guy? Blocks, same thing. Don't remove disconnected. Hmm. Some of this changing? How interesting. Or is it because the lettering is just so... Um, no? Huh. Interesting. Let's go ahead and change the modifier. Let's, let's get rid of the modifier and add the remesh modifier again. Let's add the blocks. Do not remove disconnected, and let's go with five. Interesting, and bring up here. Nope. Huh. Do, 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 do. Interesting. So it needs to have a different depth each time that I duplicate it, which is weird. Shouldn't need to do that. Oh well, got the results back. What happens if I duplicate this guy and bring him down? And then change out the text again. Sheep. No, well, that stays the same. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Oh, well. Whatever. I am A-OK -okay with it. As long as that's the, f the last one that it's going to do with. All right. Sheep. Good. Is that sheep? And let's... And those... That's mostly just going to be the E-E-P there. Uh, S-H-E-E-P there that I'm going to be moving over. Yes, actually. They are going to sparkle on the text. Hookah dogs need treats. Oh, did I miss something? Is that sheep looking at me? No. No, I didn't. I didn't miss any. Uh, uh, doggies need treats. Uh, no, I don't see any requests for that. Do, do, do. Uh, made outfit. Yeah, let's see here. It was a uh, made outfit. Made outfit. I did the feed the pet, and <laughs> did you guys did you guys do the made outfit twice? Twice? Did you get do it twice? Twice? We're in the made outfit. All right. So let's go ahead and do the looking at now. So this one is going to be, uh, actually, we're going to be doing L-O-K-I-N-G, because we're going to duplicate that O into the L. Oh, good. Now, for some reason, it's doing better with the other letters. No idea why. Uh, might have to shrink this down a little bit. There we go. Do, 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 do. There we go. And then duplicate this. And this one is going to be at, 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 at. And this one actually needs a little bit of less blockage. New idea why. 
Let's go ahead and duplicate this guy and bring it on over and say that this one is me. Okay. Is that sheep looking at me? Good. Uh, actually, is there an available question mark inside of this font? That would be nice to know. Is there a question mark? No, question mark. Yes, there is a question mark. Let's go ahead and scale this guy up. Rotate him. And just zoom on here so I can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. And then I just need to warp around these to make it fit a little bit more. So right now, this is just going to be the base model of this stuff. Uh, I need to move around things so that way they shape a little bit better. So the, the H needs to be better. The shape, of, the size of the T is okay. I just need to move things around. What about the outfit? The outfit was the made one. <laughs> well, it's currently still the made outfit. I mean, it hasn't changed from the made outfit. Did you did you guys request the, the made outfit when the made outfit was was already up? Or am I am I reading that wrong? Oh, Maxzilla. Oh, okay. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I, 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 I thought it was brilliant looking enough that I, <laughs> I'm not going at that thing going less like, oh man, this needs to change. And it's like, no, 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 no. This, this definitely needs, this type of show needs a hand-drawn thing. I just need to change it to fit inside of my animation now. But, you're going to like how it looks, though. I'm pretty sure you're going to like how it looks once I get everything done here. But yeah, it's going to sparkle a little bit, and it's going to show up. But don't worry. Um, he he, a wild max was summoned. <laughs> we did it at the same time earlier. Oh, okay. We have talented people. Okay. Thank you for the follow, Starin. Thank you for the follow, Star. <laughs> I'm gonna be like Zumavoid and butcher the name. All right, lay down, Akila. Come on. I know you tired. Lay down. There you go, good boy. Get all covered up. No, snuggled up. There you go, good boy. All right, so now that we have these, I'm actually going to duplicate this. Go ahead and new collection. Um, I'm going to put this uh, letters um, un, unmeshed. I'm gonna duplicate these letters because uh, I want to make sure that I save these things before they were changed over. So these things duplicate these, okay, and let go. And these ones are going to go right into here and go away. So these ones here are going to change up a bit. Um, let's go ahead and F3, and we are going to convert these to a mesh. So right now, these things are editable. Um, so I can change them to whatever letters I want them to be but I want them to be able to have a type of texture on them. And in order to do that, I need to change it over to a, um, a type of um, mesh. And this mesh I'll also be able to play around with. I'll be able to squish it and uh, move it around, play with it in, in the different directions that I want it to. So let's go ahead and do that with all of these things, converting them to a mesh. Um, thank you for the follow, Maxzilla. Now you should have a little doohickey guy that'll just drop out of the sky. You can make him, uh, look, uh, customize him by the controls just below the stream. Should be called Stream Avatars, S-A. 
if you're on the phone. Do this, and then that, good. And then I want to change this one to a mesh, yep. Change this one to a mesh, change this one to a mesh, and then change this one to a mesh. Good, now all of these have meshing. Let's go ahead and see if we can play around with these things. The is seems okay, so we are going to play around with the th up here, and th and a. Um, so I think what I want to do, um, let's hide this really quickly. So the h is just squashed on one side, and the a is squashed down completely. So let's go ahead and control H. Oop, nope. Uh, can Alt H. There we go. Bring that back. And I want to squish this a bit. So all of this, let's go ahead and grab see through mode here and grab the block. And we are going to take these guys and we are just going to do a simple tall down squish. Squish this all like so, bring it on down. And then I think what we can do is I think we can take even more of this mesh here and squash this on, oop, nope, I want this and squash it on down again. Do a Z coordinate squish. There we go. Little bit more. There we go, awesome. Awesome, awesome. And now with the A, let's go ahead and grab all of you. Let's grab a box, box select. Grab all of that, good. Circle select, grab more of this. And then this guy is going to get squished down too. And let's compact it the other direction too. And move it on down back to its little connection here with the other guy. Keep a squishing. Keep a squishing. Good. And Bring him on down. There we go. Now he's just as tall as that other section of the of the T. So now what we can do is grab this T, bring him uh, back on over, and we're gonna t grab this top section of the T. Zoom on in, and I should be able to just grab this section of the T right here and expand on out perfect now we have that t there and let's grab actually let's grab all of this and move this on over box select from here and then circle select this bring these guys on over right underneath the t good box nope box here we go, select this half. Awesome, awesome. Sweet. And now, ooh, there we go. Now we have something that actually fits, kind of like so. Awesome. And it's still in a type of block format. So we still have that kind of um, blocky feel. So when we bring it into the 3D, there's, uh, th this will look like it's kind of made out of chisel and bits. Since you're customizing, uh, I take that as a yes. Um, these streams and stream avatars are cute. <laughs> I've never seen them before. Yeah, it, 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 uh, helps, especially during some of the down times of, uh, making this kind of like when I was fiddling with that, um, uh, meshing about with the, with the thing. Sometimes during the downplay, it's it's nice to have something that's moving across the screen rather than me just going, what vertice is this? This is vertice 5732. I need to fix this.
<laughs> Sometimes when it, when you're messing with things and it's just like, oh, that didn't work out great. Great. It's good. It's good to have people along with me because when when there's mistakes, oh, when there's mistakes, it hurts so bad. And it's nice to have people in the background with you guys. It's I'm glad to have you guys along with me on some of the stuff. It is really great. All right, so now we come to a little harder part of this. I think I'm going to take this S and I'm just going to separate him from the rest of the everybody else. So let's go ahead. Oh, no, I heard it. Beyond the music, beyond myself, I heard somebody fart. Who farted? Who farted? <laughs> why, why do I hear that? Out of everything on the stream. I mean, like, I miss people's uh, requests to feed the dogs, to change the outfits. I miss people's subscriptions. No, I hear somebody fart. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, we're going to separate this by selection. And we're going to take these guys here. That's what we want. Um, we want this guy here. All right, good. And we want to actually squish this down a bit. So squishy, squishy. Good. Bring you on over to here. EEP, good. And then this guy, this guy is going to be tricky. Um, How do I want to do this guy? How do I want to do this? I'm thinking since yep i heard that again i heard it <laughs> it wasn't you jen are you sure it wasn't you super hearing parts of you know glebo should be here because she, she was uh she tells me a little bit about the hebrew language uh her native language and um apparently pook P-O-O-K-A. If you say pook in the Hebrew language, that means fart. So she's kind of shy and actually telling people that she's watching puka. So it's just like farta? <laughs> so if you're wondering, pook is a uh, fart in Hebrew. So everybody around this stream is just pook, pooking it up. All right, let's bring that up, and I think I think I can get this to work because these blocks, these blocks are just perfect. So let's go ahead, go back to the see-through mode. Box select. We are going to box select from here, <laughs> and now everybody is pooking. <laughs> everybody pook. Everybody do the pook. I think because this is a block, this might work out okay. But it doesn't. Uh, maybe I should just shrink the other letters a little bit more. Possibly. Let's expand this out a little bit too. And I think if I just do that, and we're gonna we're just gonna shrink these guys just a little bit more too. So sheep. So all right, we have that. Doesn't uh doesn't feel right though. It just looks like a long S. It needs something else here. It really does. It really needs something else. Let's go ahead and undo all of what we just did. Let's move this right on back. Let's, um... Uh, how do we want to do this? Ooh, ooh, no, 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 let's go back. Let's go back. Back, back, back. Back again. Okay, I think I got it. 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 Alright, and then I want to take this guy over here, 
Get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I know what to do. Alright. Do, do, do. Let's grab this guy, and we're just going to move along the x-axis. We're going to move this guy on over here. We're going to move this guy up. So that way it has a little bit of a curve to it. But we do need to change that later. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. Let's move this guy on over and move this guy up so that it has less of a point. There we go. Don't you hate it when you're talking and then suddenly you don't have a point? Let's grab this guy and let's have a slopier version of that. Okay, good. All right. So now I'm going to try and do something, and I'm not sure if this is going to work. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of see-through. So now it has a curve to it, and it looks a better, better than it did before. So we are going to try yet again another uh, remesh on this thing, and we're going to do the blocks. We're going to bring it all the way back up. Perfect! That's exactly what I wanted. Look at that. Now, now it has the little block forms right there, too. Uh, along the curve. That's exactly, exactly what I wanted. Love it. Let's see if we can uh, bring that in a little bit to have some of that depth that we had before. Those little trailing blocks. And no, that's not, not going to happen too much. But all right, cool. So yes, it worked. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Mavis Knight, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Now that you're following, you get a little avatar down there at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> so, all right. Ad adventures in modeling. Shouldn't have been animation. It should have been modeling. All right. So now, I was worried a little bit about these other ones down here. About uh, these having a problem with the mesh. So what I could possibly do is we're going to try a, another remesh on top of these guys too. We're going to bring these up to uh, a number nine. Do not remove disconnected. Hello. Uh-oh. Uh, there we go. Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. This is amazing, y'all. All right. Is that right? No. Uh, maybe. Is that right? Mm, somehow those blocks still seem a little squished. All right. Uh, what happens if we remove it? You know what? It doesn't do too much. I can see it wobble well, a bit. Is not looking too hot, hot right, right now. You need something, something that looks prettier. I'll pit change. It does, and the uh, the game show does be a little bit appropriate since ZF is off on the side here in his little orange suit. All right, I'm just gonna get rid of that modifier. We're just going to deal with the fact that some of this is squished a bit. However, I think I'll remesh these things though. Let's go ahead and grab that. Separate by selection, and let's go ahead and remesh this, though. We're going to remesh this. Blocks. We're going to go up to a 9. And then increase the depth here. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Dun, 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 There we go. Mm, let's bring down the depth a bit. Let's bring this back to a 0.9, see what happens. Nine? No. Okay, let's bring this back to a 6. There we go. There we go. And now that there is a little bit of a slant here, I'm going to show you guys here. I'm pretty sure some of you saw it, but there is a little bit of a slant here. We're going to go in between the meshes. So the, yeah, there is this little bit of slant here from squishing the letters. But what I can do is remesh it, and it becomes square again. Now all I need to do is apply it. 
There we go. Perfect. And then I'm going to apply this to. Good. And these don't have any more modifiers. Good. All right. Save. Is that sheep looking at me? Thank you for the follow. Amber Dragonfire. Now that you have a follow, you got yourself an avatar. To any new followers. Oh, thank you, Le Pengui, for doing that. I appreciate you, Le Pengui. All you first guyers are also helpful. I mean, you made a Discord and everything. They're always helpful. They're always guys are always helpful. Let's go ahead and see if we can remesh this guy. How do we want to do this? Uh, how do we want to do this? I think we should squish it like so. Let's first squish it on these vertices. Uh, no, not those vertices. You're amazing, Puka. Hmm. <laughs> Only on days ending in Z. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. My bad. I'm sorry. I should be whispering. I should be whispering. Sorry. Okay. Got that squished. I think I'm going to have to get rid of this lower bubble here. Uh, let's see here. I think that's about right. Let's go ahead and heighten, th heighten it a little bit too. Uh, not so much. I think that's going to be okay for a question mark. I'm going to have to expand the lower part by taking out this little bubble at the bottom. that faces go away okay good delete that faces go away don't need any of that oh wait no I need to uh, delete the vertices that's what I need to do mm, let's go ahead and grab those lines right there I want these things there we go, and I want to put in a... F I think how I do this is... I press F. Yes, sweet. I remember the key. F will add in a face, and of course that is a... ungodly amount of sided octagon. Or unsightly <laughs> polygon. Uh, let's go ahead and... Extend the bottom of this guy. Uh, we want do 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 see through mesh. Go ahead and grab this. Awesome. And then this should just extend downwards. Perfect. Actually, a little bit upward. My bad. Okay, good. Uh, do 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 Mondays. Oh, hat. <laughs> Wednesdays. <laughs> you know, I was actually trying to uh, be. Um, and it's just like, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not amazing. And then you switched it to actually work correctly. Mondays. You. You made it work great. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't come back on that. That's pretty good. That was good. You made that work. Let's see here. Remesh. Uh, we want to do another remesh on this guy. Ooh, uh, and we don't want to see that. Blocks. There we go. Four. Five. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Let's make a little bit of a depth on this too. There we 
go. Alrighty. Let's do uh apply. Good. Let's move this guy on back. Object set origin to geometry. There we go. Perfect. Actually, let's do that with all these other ones too. Grab all of these objects. Objects. Is that there we go. And let's do object set origin to geometry. There we go. Now all the geometry should be geometry origins should be in the center. Which is a lot easier when selecting it. So now, and especially when moving it. Alright, so now uh, we need we need a sheep face. Let's go ahead and grab uh, one of our sheep from the other thing. Let's go ahead and grab actually a append. I want projects 3d rendering uh, let's just grab it from the new palette collections let's grab sheep Ooh, sheep um is it this one i'm hoping it's this one sheep bones is that the right one nope not the right one but we're gonna use it anyways because we don't need these bones don't need them bones. Get rid of them bones. Where did the sheep go? Oh, there it is. Zoom. Let's get rid of some of those other things too, like this sheep driver. We don't need that. Delete. Okay. Go into texture view. Good. Let's go ahead and get rid of a bunch of this that we don't need. Delete. Faces, get rid of this, delete, faces. Perfect, now we are just left with a sheep head. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with that. Set origin to geometry, get the geometry right in the middle of the face. Upward, rotate, and increase size. Perfect. And rotate. Let's go ahead, since this guy is so white, let's go ahead and change out this shading. And let's add in a little bit more of that, shall we? Alright, so here's a funny thing for you. Um, if I were to increase this factor... Text-to-speech, you're looking... You're looking has only one... Oh, right, right! Right. <laughs> yes, yes it does. In fact, it does. I should fix that before I I'll work on that sheep, shouldn't I? Let's go ahead and fix that. Thank you very much. Do, 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 do. Oh, I was, Glebo, if, if you weren't here, I was telling everybody what pook meant. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, that's right. We need to we need to fix this up quite a bit. Um, what is happening with this? Um, do do do. That o. That o, that k, that i, the n is okay. The i needs everything needs to kind of shift a little bit. Oh, that's because the L is extended. That's right. That's why everything is squished a little bit. Right. So, what I should do... Thank you for the follow, Miss... Missy Fish. Thank you for the follow, Missy Fish. Missy Fish. Missy Fish. Alright, so, now I need to fix... Uh-oh. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead. I think this is how we're going to have to do it. Let's go ahead. I'm glad I saved the, those other files, those other lettering, because I'm gonna, they're going to come into play soon. Um, 
disappear, block, and we're going to grab right from this extension here. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this G, because this G isn't going to change any. Do, do, do. Get rid of the G. Oop, nope. There we go. Perfect. I don't think I have any vertices on that G. Let me check really quickly. I do have some vertices selected on that G. Go away. Yep, still some vertices. Where 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 are these hidden vertices here? Um go into camera mode. All right, here we go. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong way. Wrong direction. Okay. Now, now I should be, have everything selected properly. Yes, everything's selected properly now. What I can do in order to extend that O and squish everything is just... Oh, 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 I have individual origins. Let's do median point. Median point will give us this effect. And that'll extend the O a little bit. And thankfully, since we're on a block plane, that'll extend nicely. Oh, perfectly. It lines up. Good. And all right. Good. That L is extended. And now that we had those backup letters, what we can do is I need the looking one. Here we go. I'm going to duplicate this guy. Drop him down and bring him over to the main looking one, the main area. Get rid of the lettering again. And then get rid of the O. Outfit change! Oh my god! Like, what should we change to? ZXmas. Never too late to look forward to Xmas. Correct. Oh my gosh, X Christmas is like the sparkliest season of like the entire year. Like all these Christmas ornaments just grow off of all of these buildings. I don't know how to get there. Is that have Christmas? Ba -da -bom. There we go. Tidexon, hi! I won something while I was waiting for school lunch. <laughs> Alright, and this O. This O, I think, has too many modifications on it. Let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit. There we go. Alrighty, and we want to apply. Good. And then shrink. Go ahead and drag you upwards. And there we go. And then we have the smaller... Oh, actually... Can I, can I shrink this? Okay, good. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm still in lettering. Oh, oh, okay. My bad. All right, let's uh, increase this a little bit. Can I do a 4.5? 4.5? Or is that going to kill everything? No, that's going to... Uh-huh. You only allow whole numbers. Darn it. Can't have half a block. Um, This one or smaller blocks? I think I'm definitely going to go with the bigger blocks. There we go. All right, and move this on up forward. There we go. Good. Now we have another O. Sweet. Uh, apply. Oh, wait. That's right. I need to rasterize it. That's why it didn't apply. There we go. Now it is a mesh. Sweet. Cool. And then sheep. All right. Now what we were... Hello? 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 Wow, I just had a sudden echo in the room. That was weird. 
at some point, there will just be a big bundle of voice highlights and funny moments. <laughs> Outfit change. Oh my gosh, and the, and the little el elf, elf-like voices. I can't do that, but at least I can make a really good uh, witch voice. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty, and your little puppy, too. Although I just devolve into a pretty horse at that point. Uh, control S. Oh, great! Yes, thank you. Appreciate that. Now, control S, how do you know my... Oh, how do you know my functions? You don't know my key commands. You don't know my key commands. You do know my key commands, because that key command is universal. Any program that doesn't have control S as save is failing. All right, and we want, uh, ooh, that looks dark. <laughs> Just a single point. Is that sheep looking at me? Da -da -da -da. Just this, just this waving lantern. <laughs> uh, the sheep is coming for you. Look out. We can see the left side of the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I was just like, I can see it on the left side of the screen. What are you talking about? Oh, right. The key capture screens. Okay. We need to change this. Okay, now I changed it to render, so that way... Uh, let's, let's apply this thing. Okay. Disable? Okay, good. Um... I need to figure out exactly what I want to do with this this texturing. So what I think I'm going to do, shading, is I'm going to switch out this principled shader. Uh, we're going to add in a shader of emission. We're going to make this sheep glow. Put in this. And then this sheep. Alright, the wool is glowing, but not everything else. Thank you for the follow, Wolf Crafter. Thank you for the follow, Wolf Crafter. Now that you have a follow, you can join the the, the oh, wow the the crowd that has gathered down there at the bottom of the screen. You can customize your little dude. Any new followers? <laughs> Let's go ahead and change this guy to an, an emission as well. Uh, shift add shader emission. Grab you in color and emission. All right, now that should be a better sheep. Layout, awesome. Now we can go to this and that sheep will look spectacular. All righty. Now what do we need to do? I think I think what we need to do is we need to give uh, these things an outline. So um, we're gonna take the this thing away and we're gonna actually put this off to the side. So now that we have the overall shape, now we need to actually give it some color because now it now it actually is looking pretty good. Uh, if I can, yeah. So that that is looking really good. I love that. I actually, I'm actually surprised that it's looking good. I wasn't actually expecting it to look this good. Wow. Uh, actually, I can do something. Wow. I'm, I'm surprised at myself. I can do something. Yeah. All right. But um, what I want to do is I want to give these things an outline. Before I give these things a color, I want to give most of this stuff a, a type of outline. So... All of these things are going to get a, um, um, they're going to get a texture. They're going to get a couple textures, actually. 
So we're going to give them the orange and the purple, orange, purple, and white uh, type of shading. So let's see here. We want, um, I think we're going to go with principled shader. So we're going to go with that. Mm, do, 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 material and all of that. And we're going to assign it to that. Uh, why is it not showing up correctly? Huh. Let's go ahead and change this to a sun. And we don't need it to be a thousand percent. We need it to be three percent. Rotate that sun so that we can actually see something. All right, so why do you not have a material on you? Or is that a material and I'm just not seeing it? I am just not seeing it. That's what it is. Okay, so we should we have a little bit of an emission? Yeah, if we have too much emission, we lose our shadow. So we're going to have just a tad bit of an emission here. Tad bit of an emission, and we're going to apply material one onto it, onto these. And add on material one. We're gonna add on material orange too. Let's add on a new material. This one is going to be this orange. Ooh, that, ew, ugh, ugh. That is no, that is very no. Okay, and we need to dial this back a bit. Because we want it to have shadowing, but we want... Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. Because what we can do is we can brighten this yellow, actually. Uh, no, that's whitening it. We want to brighten it. Uh, maybe I should just change this straight to an emission and dial it back a bit. Okay, we'll try that. Let's try doing the emission and dialing this backwards. Nope, that doesn't work. All right, this is not a good orange. I don't like this orange. How to change you, how to change you, because you're at max. You're at max! <laughs> hey, Lux, it's max. All right, so let's go to this. Actually, you know what, that doesn't, that's not too bad. Let's just dial this back just a little bit. Okay, I think we're gonna settle with that. Cause it has its shape. And it's not and it has some shadowing to it. So we're gonna we're gonna just go with that, I think. Doing okay, okay Mr. Wolfcrafter. And I'm glad you're doing the same. <laughs> so many people here again today. Yeah, maybe I should uh, do what every streamer says and not look down. I shouldn't have looked down. I shouldn't have looked down. There's more people than yesterday, actually. <laughs> shouldn't have looked down. All right, continuing on materials. Thank you for the follow. Just, just keep, hi, Just. I'm going to call you uh, Kex, Just Kex, just for the Kex. Thank you for the follow. Since you followed, you got yourself a little avatar down there at the bottom that you can customize. Walking around. Just walking around. Darn you, animation. Look at me walking around. No, no, animation. Oh. oh. What was that that guy that did those those animations of uh, those little weird puff clouds? And she's like, everybody dance! <laughs> I'm bleeding! Oh, for everything that is holy! Darn this animation! <laughs> okay, and we want purple now, too. We want uh, this to turn into a good purple. So let's go ahead and grab this purple and see. That isn't a too bad purple. Let's go ahead and add this purple to that. 
And let's dial it back a little bit too. All right. Yeah, that isn't too bad. I like that. Awesome. Sweet. So now what I want to do is I want to take the same texture um, and we're going to apply this to an outline. We're going to give this guy a type of uh, tune shading as, it, well, not tune shading. I mean, uh, tune outline. So what we do for that is we add in another modifier. This modifier is going to be a, um, actually, we're going to have to duplicate these. So we're actually going to make a new collection. This is going to be um, a full, full logo. This is going to be the full logo right here. And what's going to, we're going to take all of these things and we're actually going to be duplicating everything here. Let's go ahead and grab all of this. And the sheep, I don't think, has an outline. So let's... And the purple doesn't have an outline because it's already purple. So let's go ahead and grab all of these guys. And we're going to put you inside of the full logo. One of these is still text. <laughs> I didn't even notice this one is still text. Let's go ahead and move that into the mesh category because that's going to be important for the next step. So, all right. So what we can do here, and it's going to be more apparent with this guy, is we're going to duplicate the this entire thing here. Duplicate collection. I did hear that fart. I heard it. I heard somebody pook. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's trying out the the little commands. I think I, I think somebody's trying out the commands. It's just like, oh, what's this fart button do? Fart. <laughs> yeah, I go mm, I go to school again, but I have mm, a little cold, so I need to have online classes. Guy, my my guy is stuck on my screen. Toastmaster, where are you at? Oh, wow, Puka. <laughs> this is looking so good. Oh, hey, ZF. Hey, gr glad for you to join us. I'm just about to add on a tune outline onto these things. So these things have a little bit of an outline to them. So we're going to add on to a little bit of outline. And the one we're going to be adding it to is the duplicated logo. So if I grab this question mark here, and I add on a solidify modifier. This guy is going to allow me to uh, increase the scale of this thing. This thing is basically going to get a little bit fatter. But we don't want it too fat. So what we need to do is bring it back down to zero. And we're going to increase the size very slightly. So we're going to put it right about here. So that's where we want the solidify mod modifier to be. We want to... Go down to here to normals, and we want to flip the normals. And we want to go into the textures. We want the purple thing for this, and we want this to be uh, alpha clip. Uh, no, back facing. That's right. There we go. Back facing. Here we go. Uh, opaque. There we go. Mm, shadow mode, none. We don't want any shadow mode on the purple stuff right now. All right, so now these things are going to have a little bit of a tune shading to them. So, not tune shading, tune outline. So now we can go back into the modifier here and we can add in just a little bit more outline to it. There we go. And now, no matter what direction you're looking at this, it has a little bit of an outline to it. <laughs> Wait, ZF has come into the stream. Has anybody, anybody at all thought about actually hug, hug ZF plays? Has nobody hugged ZF yet? Oh, wait, no, Glebo has. So we're good. Glebo has hugged ZF at least. <laughs> little avatar goes right over to, to ZF and gives him a little hug. <laughs> no, come back here. Hug. Oh my I god. Oh my god. You didn't. 
Look! Subscribe. Oh my gosh, Jen! You're so generous! What are you doing? Oh my gosh, just like any time that you're around here, you just sparkle. You just bring a good little atmosphere to everybody around here. Oh my gosh, everybody give Jen a hug. That is so fantastic of you. Hugs to Jen. Oh my gosh, three, two, one, pretty Jen. <laughs> All right, so now, now that we have that modifier, what we can do is we can apply that same modifier to everything on here. So, I think what we can do is duplicate this that modifier. Is not looking too hot right <laughs> oh, now. no, no, that, that doesn't work prettier. right. Outfit change! Outfit ch Oh, gosh. You were saving that until uh, ZF got here, didn't you? You were waiting, you were waiting, and it's just like, oh, look! Well, ZF has seen a little bit, uh, has seen the picture of it, at least. But here's, here's, here's the motion capture of, uh, the maid outfit then <laughs> like so yep we have the now i know it's a pocket but zed it looks like a smiley face on on there it really does look like a smiley face on that on that maid outfit All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to we've got to duplicate this on to the other modifiers here. So I think, um, how do we do this? Uh, duplicate, no, we're not gonna be able to do that, are we? I think the best thing that we can do actually is we're just going to select all of these, turn them into one single mesh. So we're gonna just, uh, Grab all of these and turn it into one solidified mesh. So let's go ahead and object. Uh, we want to join all of these together. So we joined all of those together and now we need to add in... Wait, that didn't join them all? Mm, that didn't join them all. Why didn't that join them all? Do, do, do. Ah, there we go. Object, join. Now it's one mesh. Now it's one mesh. There we go. Add modifier, solidify. Okay, and now we need to increase the size of this. Oop, nope, not that, not that, not that. We want the thickness to be... Uh, actually, you know, that might be a pretty good thickness right there. Normals, flip. And we want this to be turning into do, 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 material purple and material purple. And there we go. And that should be correct. Should be correct. Uh, thank you for the follow there, Dawn Path and uh, Gia. Thank you for the for the follows. Let's go ahead and get rid of a couple of things here. What is all going on here? So we got we got the mesh on. I think everything is okay. Let's go ahead and go to the solidify modifier. Oh, 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 I know exactly what's going on. I have it selected. That's what's going on. No, no, there is actually something going on here. What is going on here? Uh, interesting. I don't think I've seen that before. What is going on? I want to hide that. Oh, I know what's going on. Oh, I know exactly what's going on. Okay. Uh, only rim? No. Uh, fill. Don't fill. Fill, only rim. Mm, thickness. Nope. 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 Uh, let's... Uh, how do we want to do this? If we do that, and then fill only rim, 
and then uh, only rim. Then let's try doing something completely different. Let's try doing a select everything and we want to try and flip the normals. Flip, flip normals just manually. There, ooh, where'd you go? Oh, right, right, that, that doesn't work, does it? That doesn't work. So I need to do is apply it first. So apply this first, apply this, go into this mode, and then, then I need to um, F3 flip the normals. Okay. Hmm. It still has, still has some weird shadowing on here and I don't like it too much. Huh. What I might have to do later on in the stream, and out, out, out of stream, is I'm gonna have to get rid of these inside, sh inside uh, outlines because it's doing both. It's doing both the outside and the inside uh, meshes, and I don't like that. So what I might have to do off stream is actually add that tune shading. But for right now, it's almost right. It's almost right. Not quite, but it's getting there. For right now, it's it's a, it's a close it's a close second. We'll have to deal with all of that later. But all right. So now we have the logo set up and we're gonna get this all fixed into our animation. So, okay, we have that. The sheep is uh, all bright and everything. We have the, oh, I need the lights. I need the lights, that's what I need. We are going to have moving lights. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, the colors look great, Puga. I got to go and head to bed. Well, good night, Owl Croissant. I look forward to everything you create. Everything. Let us grab a cylinder. So we want the cylinder and we want... I'm wondering if I should keep any of these objects separated. So I'm thinking... Let's go ahead and keep everything separated and we are going to just attach everything to a you know I can just attach everything to the cylinders so everything I see here let's go ahead and grab everything all right everything and then no I don't want the light we don't we don't need the light go away light cylinder and I want you to just parent to an object so now when I grab this guy everything should move around sweet and that way I can adjust everything later so full logo everything is in there let's go ahead and put that in there as well um mob sheep let's go ahead and put you in there too and now everything should be contained within the full logo no. Oop. I still need this O thingy down here. Do 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 ba do do and place you inside I think this one. No. You're gonna put you in that. <clears throat> Ooh. I've been on my while since I had something to drink. Ah, huh. Feeling that one. Oh, okay. So everything is contained in full logo. We have it all set up. We can take this into our animation now and see how it looks. So, actually, let's give this a proper save because I actually only have this saved in temp folders. Um, This is going to be the... Uh, it it slam logo. This is going to be the it slam logo. Save, and we will append this into the other animation. 
Oh wow, I, uh, I peeked in earlier and you just had mm, the circles. <laughs> so much now, yeah. It's uh, it's it's creeped up. Uh, things are things are getting done. Things are getting done, yo. So let's put here we not actors sheep. We need. Let's make a. Let's make since the logos and sheep pushing bone. I think we'll put that in in here. We'll put the logo inside there. File. Uh, I want to append. Let's go to ZF. Do 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 do. Uh oh, that's textures. Right. I knew that. Logo collection and full logo. There we go. And now the full logo should be right here. Let's grab this cylinder. Where are you? Whoa! Um, it's a little oversized. We're gonna have to shrink it down just a tad. But right, there's the logo. Let's go ahead and shrink you on down. Right, there we go. Bring you on in. It's so, all right. So, and this actually, this actually is still too big. So this logo is going to be about that big. So it's going to push the sheep all the way up past the screen. And all the sheep are just going to be falling off the top of it. So that's the idea for this. So there we go. And and it and that looks good. That that outline looks pretty good. I'm going to have to get rid of some of the inner mesh of that outline, but it is looking good. And I like how that's turning out. I like how that that outline just adds quite a bit to that logo. And no matter which way I turn, that that logo is going to happen. So now, if I have it on this angle, if I have it on this angle, is that sheep looking at me? You know what? I like the, the question mark being huge. So I think we're going to do that. I like that question mark being just large. Large and in charge. Actually, if we do that, we're going to have to rotate it a little bit after it comes up. All right. So. Uh, do, 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 ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ba da All right. So where do we go from here? We have the logo. Um, that is going to come up later. Um... And probably not in this stream. <laughs> Zed, I want to know if you see something uh, funny in this. And I want to know if you want me to keep this. Uh, is is there anything funny that you see in this in, in this scene at all? It's like, does anything look awkward at all? It's just... Anything, anything about this? Not, it's not per se you in the orange suit. But there's there's something weird about like say the sky. I was like I was wondering if this was okay up here. This sun. <laughs> Do you see it? Do you see the sun? <laughs> I tried to make it as subtle as possible, so that way uh, people would have to give it a, a double take. Going is that a sheep? That's a sheep sun. <laughs> Uh, and as as it it'll just progressively go up like a normal sun. <laughs> I thought it was just a just a just an odd thing. It, the sky needed something. I was like, sun, just make it a sheep sun. So all right, now that we're done with that, we need to bring in the red sheep now too. Oh, Akila, go on and lay down, pup pup. You'll be getting your stuff soon. Can't mention the F O O D word in front of the dogs. They know exactly what that word means. <laughs> Is that sheep looking at me? Ah, my eyes. Yeah, should you turn around to see the sheep? All right. So now we have 
the the sheep, the red sheep coming up to push all the other sheep. <laughs> we need to get the rest of the red sheep pushing them up too. Pushing the red sheep, pushing the red sheep up, pushing the green sheep up. So those need to be a uh, just a cascading moment of all these sheep just pushing each other upwards. So we got this guy coming up. Whoop. We have a we have a helicopter sheep here. Let's go ahead and move him back around. And put on recording keys. We don't need any helicopter sheep. We really do not. But it's going to be a helicopter sheep anyways, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and duplicate this keyframe. In order to this really stop that helicopter from happening, what we do is uh, we put in a duplicated keyframe. Let's go ahead over here and make sure the sheep is facing the other direction because we want the back end of it. That was an item from Earthbound. Who did what? Uh, let's go ahead and put you there. Now duplicate this keyframe. Put you over here. And now the key, now the sheep is not helicoptering. Oh, ah, that's what the, that's what the doot 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 was. Puppers, have a snack. These are good puppers. Hey. One of them's dead asleep. I'm tossing stuff at his face and he's not getting up. Oh, there you go. Now you smelled it in the middle of your dream. Yeah, they were, they were, um, there's some snacks. I'm not eating the snacks, I swear. Sometimes it's, okay. To be completely honest with you guys, I'm not actually eating dog treats. They're Cheerios. I'm giving my puppies Cheerios because it's currently the only thing I have in hand. <laughs> All right, so helicopter sheep fixed. So now we want this guy down here to be brought down here. So now the helicopter sheep only happens between one frame. So it just flips from here to, to the other side. So now we no longer have a helicopter sheep. And now it'll come back up. Whoa! The heck did you do? Hold on. What did that do? What did that do? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is it doing? What is it doing? Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Still having a heck of a helicopter sheep. Don't need any of those. <laughs> you say and you say that, but we still don't believe it. Okay, you. I mean, I am known to eat just bland, uh, flour-based dog treats every once in a while. Because they literally don't have any taste. They're just crunchy. That's all they are. <laughs> Especially the ones if my dog... Um, oh, God. I just said dog instead of wife. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Especially if my wife bakes some pumpkin-flavored dog treats. Come on. Pop up. Yeah. Oh, boy. There you go. All right, so now we got some tails on the sheep, and every sheep that we add in, we're gonna have to uh, put in a tail for them. These are all the red sheep. So let's go ahead and bring in sheep number five. Oh wait, we still need to, we still need to have these guys uh, moving to the other sheep. All right, so let's go ahead and change these guys, so these guys need to react. And that one reacts, this one reacts, that one reacts. 
And I think these guys are all just going to be pushed upwards. So let's go ahead. What? Nope. Wrong one. Wrong button. <laughs> Wrong button. That button. There we go. Alright, so. There we go. Upward. There we go. So from here, from here, they need to move upward. So we're going to move these guys upward a bit. There we go. And then give it a little old slowdown. There we go. Thank you for the f follow, Alar. Alar X. And this guy is going to have its paws, or hooves. It's going to have its hooves moving around a bit. So let's grab this guy. We want your hooves, please. Thank you. But we don't want your body selected. All right, and then... All right, and so we're going to grab from here. Next frame, we're going to move these up right next to your current ones. And then move you on up. And these guys are going to also stick straight out. And there we go. And then I think I'm going to have these guys uh, be a little bit more awkward. Actually, no, this one, this one can hang down a little bit. This one is going to be over to the side a little bit, like right here. And then this one's actually going to flop upwards a bit. So flop upwards and then move out. Thank you for the follow. Latifa. Thank you for the follow. Anybody that has a follow, you can get your little avatar down there at the bottom. And you can customize them however you want. And you can hug your little fellow friends. Hug. <laughs> uh, yes, you can hug your fellow friends. Let's see here. Mass. Um, I haven't done this in a while. I really haven't. <laughs> okay, I'm happy now. <laughs> Spoken like a true supervillain. Right, right. <laughs> So leg flops up and then flops back down. There we go. So. All right, and then we're actually going to have you flop up again and then flop back down again. Okay. And I think this one might want to move a little bit. Uh, actually, yeah, it's going to ma maybe want to move quite a bit, actually. There we go. Perfect. Good. And then, actually, we're, we're going to bring this up guy a little bit, and then bring it down a little bit, too. There we go. Up, down, and then up again. And then back down again. There we go. So both those legs kind of flop a bit. And then we want to have this head -o waggle again. Got to have this head -o waggle again. <laughs> and then it's going to be interrupted, actually, from this guy right here. So we're going to move this keyframe over here. Stop that head waggle. No need a head waggle right now. Grab you, duplicate, and bring you on over. I think. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope, nope, nope. That's, that starts way too late. Way too late. Way too late. Uh, when... Okay, you need to start... You need to start moving 
very early. And let's go ahead and shrink you on down. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what we want. We want that type of sort of head waggle. Do, 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 do. Congratulations. Who won the uh, the battle there? Aw, oh, not La Penguin. <laughs> hmm. Duel. I suppose actually following instead of uh, just being a lurker might be smart. If you want to, you can always follow and then lurk, and your character will just sit down with whatever uh, animation or uh, prop that you've selected for your character. So you can follow and then lurk, and your character will just sit down. Soon we have to wait until these two are done. Yes. And, and there is a little bit of a cooldown on the, the, the dueling. I forget what it is, but there is. All right, and then this one needs to stop early too. Let's go ahead and grab you. And then delete you. Delete keyframes, and then we're gonna have this old head waggle from here. Duplicate, bring you on over. Yep, and then we need to head waggle this guy too. And then let's go ahead and grab this guy over here. And oh, oh, I need to duplicate you. Bring you on over and head waggle duplication. Ooh. Needs a little bit more, doesn't it? There we go. Shorten that up just a little bit too. Okay. All right, so it's not going to be at the right speed, but let's take a look at what we have so far because this is where I'm probably going to have to end the stream for today. Oops. Looks like I have one of the red ones starting out in a very wrong position. We need to have a discussion with you. Let's, oh, wait. Is that even visible? No, it's not even visible. Never mind. Forget it! If it's not visible, it's not in the animation. So, let's take a look at what we have so far. We have... It's not going to be the right speed because I'm doing rendering too. Oops. Pause the music here and let's... Alright. So all of this is going to be at the wrong speed. And then I'll have the guys look at each other a little bit in between the tunes here. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Fluffy butt. <laughs> yes, it works perfectly. Uh, thanks to Le Pengui, we we have a fluffy butt. So we added in a little bit of a tail there in order to make sure that we know which end of the sheep we're looking at and we're not just looking at a block of wool. We got our little tail flap in there too. I don't have a bone connected to it, but imagine. Just imagine it's flapping. But yeah, this this portion. Da -da 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 -ba -da -ba. So this looks down. What? 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 <laughs> Those feet. Those feet coming up add so much. I love it. <laughs> oh. Alright, so there's there's going to be uh, a bit more animation yet that I need to add into this, for sure. I'm going to have to add in five more sheep uh, doing that, and then I'm going to have to um, bring them all up, which should be just a single bone. Thankfully, when the logo comes up, that's going to be a lot easier. I'm not going to have to do each individual sheep animating. That's just going to be a single bone. But I will have to animate them as they continue to fall off. <laughs> so, all right, and then... Let's actually, before we go... 
let's see if we can get that logo to come on in. So we have the full logo. We have the cylinder here. Let's bring that right over here. And let's actually bring this underneath the red sheep that we have for right now. Let's bring this under the red sheep that we have for right now. So we want to bring it to the pushing bone too. Um, and we want to, where is the pushing bone? Oh, the pushing bone is kind of hidden. That's right. Uh, we want to bone relative. That's what we want to do. Now, now what we can do is and then the logo will come up pretty fast. Is that sheep looking at me? And then right about there. There we go. Um, oh, I forgot to put in the initial context. Uh, grab, alt grab, there we go. There we go, now it's at its other point. So as it comes up, all the sheep will fall off. And there'll be some, there'll be some dirt particles just as it's uh, kind of rumbling out of the earth and just be kind of a few dirt blocks falling left and right and such forth <laughs> awesome zf i'm glad awesome good good i'm happy when a client is happy with what i'm making i'm happy when the client is happy pook <laughs> pook <laughs> uh what is that? What is that Hebrew for uh, again? What is it? What is that Hebrew for again? Something something to do with a uh, what is it? Uh, mm, fart. Pook <laughs> <laughs> uh, is a f is pook is fart in Hebrew. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna leave it at that. We are going to save this. Oh, let's let's actually save it. Click on the right window, save it. There we go. And uh, we're gonna call the stream there for today. Oh, hey, I didn't acknowledge a couple people, did I? I didn't uh, acknowledge uh, Leara. Thank you for the follow. Um. I do recall seeing your YouTube channel, Leara. So thank you for the follow there. Um, and Roland Mize, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow for both of you. All right, we are going to oh, and murder Sedgwe Sed Sedge, murder Sedge. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, let's go see who we can raid, who is available. Um, I don't want this. I don't want that, but I do want this. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and see who is on the raiding availability. <laughs> so there's somebody that's given out, I think, I want to say, um, like, 10-ish um 10 -ish gift subs to the current group genfire uh she's probably playing on the zf uh zf patreon server right now most likely so let's go ahead and give uh jen who's generously given so many gift subs and is currently playing on the zf patreon server give her a raid then shall we let's uh start up that and start raid and then i want to go to um back to twitch uh open up a new tab all right good see y'all guys later Bye.